It was actually said out loud, and it's still actually said out loud, that these are things that only women care about. And you know, the last time I checked, women occupy half the planet, and uh, women get pregnant from the other sex, or sperm from another, you know, the sperm comes from something, and we don't, we don't get pregnant from vibrators, is what I'm trying to say. More than 300,000 women were raped in a single year on college campuses. A lot of people ask me about strong female characters or how do you write your women and I say I have an issue with the term strong female character because why should, why aren't you asking about strong male characters? Yeah. There are strong women, there are strong men, there are weak men, there are weak women. But when we talk about campus sexual assault we also have the added institutional and community betrayal that comes out. I hear time and time again from women uh, one of the reasons that they uh, believe that they won't be believed if they report sexual assault is because once you've had cons consensual sex as a woman, you are branded as somebody who is not to be believed. You know, young African American women were saying to us that when we look at the resources that are out there from all of the big, you know, entities, whether they're government or what have you, none of them look like us. One of the reasons why I've been doing the work that I've been doing since my initial diagnosis was because I realized in the African American community there really wasn't a lot of talk about breast cancer or any cancer because it was always t taught or spoken about as being taboo and the stigma. And my mother had real grace and real humor and I was surprised how much humor there was around the disease too and how much could be manifested in its, in its in its ugliness and in it, and its beauty, strangely. And I just decided I wanted to make something special as a tribute to her, not about her. And so that's what the movie ultimately became, was my attempt to um, articulate uh, my respect for her incredible ferocity and all the ferocity I see with all of my friends, um, my friends who've dealt with AIDS and so many who've had cancer, so too many uh, that have had breast cancer. Who talks to young women about breast health and sort of what the screening is supposed to be for young women, right? Like we know 40 or 50 years old, depending on which guideline you follow, you're supposed to get your mammogram, but what about before that? We do clinical breast exams, identify masses early and refer people, um, and we give them the right language so we don't scare the crap out of them such that they don't want to get that follow-up test. It is still pretty much, uh, in my experience anyway, I've never gotten away with telling a story of any character having an abortion, even a monstrous, you know, slutified character. On the other hand, um, I look back at it and I think, okay, we were able to, to play weeks of, of hours a day in which the discussion uh, happened. And it happened in a way that was responsible. One in three women in her lifetime will probably have an abortion. Because of that one in three statistic, People have abortions for a myriad of reasons, and the reason that should be accepted is because she, she needed an abortion. That should be the reason. And when we start parsing words and doing storylines that are always, well, she was raped, so she can have that kind of abortion, because that's the good kind of abortion, it really makes women have self-doubt when the decisions that they made to terminate a pregnancy fall into the other camp. Just the fact that these stories are out there, um, that they're not easy to resolve, that, that there are a lot of points of views, uh, but, but just sort of saying we can't ignore it, that, that if you are gonna hold the mirror up, this is what the reflection is, um, is an important thing.